Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a server starter. Let's begin. To start on the recipe you want to grab yourself a jar or container and into it pour in your bread flour followed by your water and give it a good mix until a loose dough has formed. It will be quite stiff to start with and that's completely normal but over the days it will loosen and become the more perfect server starter. Once you've got it mixed and ready you can then place the lid on and leave it for 48 hours. So here is what it looks like after 48 hours. You'll just want to give that a good mix to knock out all of them air bubble fades. And then you'll want to skip out around 70% of the mixture and this is the server discard. You can then go ahead and add in all of your flour followed by the water and give it all a good mix just until a loose dough has formed. It's the same process just happening over different days. And as you work your way through the week of the recipe, you'll notice that the mixture becomes less stiff and more loose and that's completely normal. So here is what the mixture looks like after another 48 hour ferment and this is completely normal it should be bubbly and quite airy. You'll just want them on to give it all a good mix just to knock it back. Then you can pour out around 70% of the mixture again this is just how it discards and there are uses for it you'll have to have a google for that. And then you'll want to go ahead and continue with your normal process of adding in the flour, the water and mixing until you have a loose dough and then covering it for another 24 to 48 hours. I will leave all the information on the blog post if you are interested in making this. Here is a starter on day 6 and this is completely normal. It's risen but not risen as well as the day before. You'll then just want to continue the normal process of giving it a mix just to knock it back then you can pour out 70% of the mixture and then just go ahead and add in your flour and your water and but this time it's a little bit different as you will want to use it within six to eight hours of making it and that's just the optimum time that I found but you may be able to be a bit more flexible either side of that The starter is now almost ready to use, you'll just want to leave it to, for 6 to 8 hours to ferment and then that's when you get the best results. But if you don't want to make any sourdough bread today, you can skip day 6 and just carry on with day 7 and carry on the 48 hours until you intend to use it. You'll know it's ready once, it, once it's very bubbly and airy like this, that means you know your sourdough starter is ready and you're good to go. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again on Thursday with another video to join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be a direct blog post to this recipe. There'll be a link to my blog and all my social media. So don't forget to go and check them out if you're interested. But that's all for today. Bye, guys.